Hi, my name is Jeremy Piercy, Product Manager for the Tiger Cat Skitters. Today I'm going to show you some of the improvements we've made to the turnaround seat and joystick controls on the H-Series Skitters. One of the most important features on the machine is the Tiger Cat designed and manufactured turnaround seat. A number of improvements have been made to the seat and joystick to improve the operator ergonomics. A durable heavy-duty air ride suspension seat with heating and cooling keeps the operator comfortable all day long. And the new and improved turnaround system has a lot more rotation to it. Now with the push of a button, the operator can easily rotate the seat 220 degrees. This allows the operator to spin the seat all the way around and exit the opposite side door, or rotate it all the way straight back to operate the machine in the direction of the grapple. You also notice that the reclining seat is fully adjustable. This lever here operates the tilt of the seat cushion up and down. The one to the right allows you to move the seat cushion front to back independently and then the lever in the middle allows you to slide the whole seat forwards and back. The seat back can be reclined by grabbing onto the lever on the left hand side and leaning back into the seat cushion. Tilt up adjustable armrests along with the lumbar support contribute to the operator's comfort. A secure harness comes standard for improved safety. In addition to that, if you're operating the machine in cool or hot conditions, there's two buttons down here on the left hand side that allow you to heat or cool the seat accordingly. Moving on to the joysticks, you will notice quite a few new features. On the right-hand joystick, a red button has been added. This is to apply your axle brakes. The button above that is your cruise control option. These buttons control grapple rotate clockwise, grapple rotate counterclockwise, constant pressure. Grapple open, grapple close. The differential lock control button has been moved off this joystick, giving us one spare button. This button can be customized to the user's preference in the main display. When the turnaround seat is in a position where you cannot see the main screen, this indicator here tells you when the constant pressure is on. Moving down here, we have our dozer joystick. You can raise and lower the dozer from here. Beside it is the winch control lever for operating the winch. The switch here allows you to either free spool the winch or enable or disable the winch controls. It also does dual purpose. If you had a machine equipped with something like a blade grab or an auxiliary function, the winch lever will control that function. We have the machine horn here, and then over on this side, we have the ability to start and stop the machine with a key switch. The two buttons here are to enable the machine drives and functions. The green button is to make it go and turn the park brake off. The red button is to stop the machine and enable the park brake. This button here is an engine emergency shutdown. So if you're in a scenario where you need to shut the engine down in a hurry, you can hit that button to stop the engine. On the left-hand joystick, we also have some new features. This button here can be pushed to release and rotate the Tiger Cat turnaround seat. Unlike some other machines, when you push this button, the seat will easily rotate, and when you let go of the button, the seat will automatically lock in the position you're in. The two bottom buttons here are for your front differential locks and your rear differential locks. The two indicators there are the indicators that tell you when the differential locks are on. The button next to it is also a spare button. So the slider on the left is your forward neutral reverse switch. The forward direction is the direction that you're facing. If you want the machine to travel towards your back, you just pull the slider to the down position. The slider next to it is the maximum travel speed. There's an indicator on the screen that tells you the speed that you're at. To increase your speed, hold it in the up position, and to decrease the maximum travel speed, just pull the lever down. On both joysticks, there are triggers. The left-hand joystick trigger allows you to drive the machine, and the trigger on the right-hand side can be configured to either rev up the engine or to apply the axle service brakes proportionally. Today we talked about some of the changes we've made to the H-Series Skitter. If you want to learn more, head on over to Tiger Cat TV and check out our H-Series walk-around video or contact your Tiger Cat dealer for more information.